Hello Steelers and welcome to this very special and probably quite different to what I normally put out on the channel game of Blucher. Uh, the reason I say that is because I haven't actually played a game of Blucher since I played my Waterloo refight uh, during the lockdown period. So we're getting on probably two or three years ago now. That's still my channel, go and check it out, it's a very popular video, people seem to like it. And I just kept meaning to get back to Blue Crew, I just never have to be honest. I think since then I've probably only played one game of it on the club. Uh, but it's a great game, really good game. I'm going to do a proper review of this. Um, whether that comes out before this video does or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but I will be doing a proper review of Blue Crew. Uh, I just kind of need to remind myself of it as well. But this is one of my favourites uh, because it's you're basically playing big battle uh, Napoleonics but in a very simple uh, simple manner. The, the actual rules are very, very easy. Uh, you can hold them pretty much in your head. It's like, you know, you need four up to hit, that kind of thing. And the more, the more hits you take on each unit, the, uh, the worse they get, the less dice they're rolling. Uh, but it's all about command and control, and it's all about having enough momentum to continue your attack and you know using your commanders where you need them to, and that kind of thing as well. Obviously, I'm playing it solo, uh, this is about a 300 point game, there's, three, about, there's about 280 points per side. Basically what I've done is I've taken my 100 days campaign figures and the, one of the reasons for that is because in a couple of days as I record this I'm actually going to be going to Waterloo and I just thought well let's do a little uh, kind of celebration. It's not Waterloo size game but it is a large enough game of three corps of uh, allies versus the French. Uh, it's just a, a fictional battle. Uh, the, the, the Allies are pretty much on a ridge, they've got to capture and hold a couple of towns, the French are attacking and they've got to take those towns as objectives. That's pretty much the simple, I just I just wanted to put something together because as I say I've not played Blue for a long time uh, and it is a quite a popular game and I don't really see that many games of it out there on the internet. So. I thought let's stuff the table with uh, thousands of figures and, uh, and go at it. Uh, so yeah, so what I've, I've done is I've separated the French up into three corps. So I've just basically taken core one core, two core, three core. It's about I think the French is about 284 points in total. If for those that are interested, the British I've taken one core and two core, and then also the Brunswick core, and I think their points coming at 280 points. I'm not using the the face down cards uh, because there's not much point to be honest. I I'm playing solo, I know which units are which and it looks nicer anyway without using them. But uh, uh, I'm using the, the 100 days cards from Sam Mustafa. I did check the other day, uh, the hard copy of Blucher is still available as, as I record this. You can also get it as PDF anyway and you can also get, I think you can get the 100 days cards. Uh, so if you, if you don't, you know, if you just want to do it pretty quickly cheaply you can pretty much buy the set of cards i think from drive-by printing cards i think it is uh, so you can't get the the actual set anymore the original set but you can certainly get them printed on demand and i think it's well worth it uh, for this game it's a great game uh, it's good fun it also has the prussians in the card set as well so I'm playing solo. How do I do that? In the original game that I played, uh, I played it solo with Waterloo. What I did was I drew numbers out of a bag uh, for the momentum, and then if that was basically how many, uh, if they if they basically got under that number, uh, then the game the, the turn stopped. That that was just how it worked. So it was like you know draw out. This time round, I decided just to do it with dice because I'm using a 300 point uh, game. In the game, you would normally roll three dice for your momentum. So what I'm going to do is, once I've done a move, like a core move for example, and I've used say nine points, I will roll three dice. If I roll less than three, uh, less than nine, sorry on those three dice, it's game over. So what I'll do is I'll make a note of how many units have actually been activated, and then that's basically the score. If you get below it, it's, they, it's their turn over, it turns over to the other, other side. I think that's a very easy way of doing it. It's not perfect, because obviously you could roll the same number twice, that kind of thing, which you wouldn't do if you were rolling uh, momentum dice. But it's a nice, simple, easy way of just uh, having that little bit of friction in there that you know you, you don't want to push it too much, uh, because obviously then you're going to be definitely rolling below your numbers. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it. Uh, you'll see as, as the game goes on, I will explain that better. Um, 
and I'll be able to put that into, into review anyway, but it's kind of slightly different to how I did it previously with the solo game. So, you know, this is not this is not really a game about the solo rules, it's just more about uh, the, the, the game itself. So as I say, pretty typical French attack on two built-up areas. Uh, the British are up on the hill at the back there, uh, the Allies, uh, they are going to obviously try to hold those positions and the French are going to try to assault them out of it. Uh, so they're basically going to capture both of these before the end of the game. Uh, and everything else is up for grabs really. So, I'll show you the table, I'll show you the forces involved as well, uh, and then we'll pretty much just get on with the game. Why not? Right then, here's our battlefield looking across from the Allied lines. You can see the Allies here, all lined up. So we've got, over here we've got one core, on one, uh, uh, two core, here. sorry, no, that's two core over there. This is one core here, first core, and then we've got the Brunswick contingent over here as well, up on this hill. Meanwhile, on the other side, facing them, we've got the French, and here we have uh, three core, that's two core there, and then finally one core over there. Uh, if I remember, I will put the compositions of the units on the screen at the moment. Uh, hopefully I've remembered that. What I have done though is I've actually split down, uh, instead of having uh, artillery batteries, I've split them down into uh, attached artillery. So I've put in a, a few artillery pieces here and there. I've put, given both sides two artillery batteries each, so they've split them into, uh, into individual uh, attached units. So you can see those well, you might be able to make those out uh, in various they just gave an extra d6 uh, firing the two objectives are this town here and this town here uh, both are slightly closer to the allies side because i've i, I figure uh, the french are always on the attack aren't they so uh, they're going to be attacking here so uh, it's going to really force the british down off this uh, this this line of uh, ridges that they're actually on at the moment uh, facing them uh, the fields are not going to affect any movement they're just there for decoration but the woods the small woods certainly will they are rough terrain so that's basically the setup for the table i just wanted to break the table up a little bit so it looks slightly different uh you know to, to just having a green table uh, oh yes and also there's a a, a largish lake over here as well which again uh, is impassable so they'll have to go around it right uh the french are the attackers so they're getting the first turn so we'll start off with their turn. So first things first is uh, French 2nd Corps have begun their uh, general advance into the centre. They've only activated eight of the units because one of them is currently stuck behind the uh, pond over here, so they've left them behind. So they've used eight. What I'm also going to do in this game as well, I forgot to mention, is I'm going to ignore the strict move and then fire uh, sequence. If a unit has been activated, it can either move or fire. Obviously, if it fires, it can't move, and if it moves, it can't fire. But they can do it in whichever sequence they want, because I think that's more preferable and just more interesting. Right, so I've done my uh, eight activations. Because they activated as a core, that's cost me eight uh, momentum points. So basically, if I now roll these three dice and I roll below eight, the French turn is over. Let's have a look. <laughs> there you go, eight dead on so that's basically the French turn over they can't do anything else so we jump quickly jump over to the British so the first British move is actually uh, pretty cautious but what they've done is they've pushed uh, the first KGL down towards the buildings down there they want to hold it they've also pushed over uh, the, uh, the, the one of the, uh, the what is this who are they <laughs> that's uh, the third brigade under Adam uh, they are going to be holding that flank and then they've also pushed forward the sixth brigade under Johnson forward and the fourth brigade under Mitchell as well to retain them all being within one base width of each other as part of the core so they're keeping the conscripts at the back at the moment they will come in as and when they are needed but they've only activated four at the moment so they need under four if they sorry if they're all over four they can continue moving this turn uh, so that's eight nine ten so yes they are fine they can crack on so first core have actually only activated three units this time, so that takes our total up to seven. Uh, they pushed forward the first guards down towards the building. They can't get into it because they had to stop uh, in front of it, but they've also pushed forward the second Nassau to hold that flank and also the second guards infantry as well to come round these uh, woods here and hold this line here. That's the plan. 
they don't want to be fighting in the woods if they can avoid it because it halves their attack but they also want to be threatening that French flank and also they're leaving the rest up here to do the same. So, so far we've only used seven momentum points. What I said about uh, ignoring the movement and fire uh, strict phase is that even if the turn ends and there is somebody still on it uh, who hasn't fired but is able to fire, they can then fire on that turn end anyway. So it's just really for movement. So, seven. Uh, so they've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they're actually, they're okay. They can continue. However, they don't want to. Uh, there's nothing else they want to do at the moment. They're, uh, they're waiting for the French attack. French uh, second corps pushing forward even more. This time they've used nine of them. Uh, a couple of the brigades have fallen back because they're going through uh, the, the uh, rough terrain of the woods over there. And they're also trying to bring in their last unit over there. So there's nine of them have actually moved in this turn. Uh, this is turn three, so let's have a look. So uh, less than nine and it ends their turn. <laughs> Four, yes, the French have not got great momentum at the moment, so yes, they've ended their turn. Uh, there's nothing that can fire at the moment. Everybody's just a little bit too far away anyway. I'll just show, show you, but these have moved, but they, they, they're out of uh, range anyway. It's two, two base widths, or so six inches. So they can't fire anyway, even if they hadn't moved. All the Allies have done is they moved these three as a core group, so they couldn't get less than three anyway on uh, 3D6. Uh, so, you know, they just continued on. However, they also then moved the other three over there. So now they're garrisoning both of the towns, the objectives. Uh, so that was six in total. However, they are not doing anything else. So there's no point in me rolling the dice. So they're just going to end their turn there. And they're just going to sit and wait for this French attack, or at least the first wave of it anyway. Let's see what happens with it. Right, so French 2nd Corps have made contact. They push straight in and they are attacking into the buildings here. They couldn't reach uh, the Nassau, so they're just in front of them. So they'll probably take some shot from uh, Nassau in their turn, but right now they're attacking into here. So what I need to do first of all is just see if their momentum gives up uh, or if they can continue moving and then we'll go on to the actual attack. So they've moved nine of their brigades again. So less than nine. Uh, eight, yes, so they end their turn there. So we'll go straight into the attack. Okay, I've got a feeling here that the French are not going to do great, but they need to start grinding those British out. They can't fire into urban areas, so they just need to assault it, basically, and go in with waves. Um, they're both starting with a 7 Elan, which is good for both of them, because these are some of their better units. However, the British are getting plus 2 because they're garrisoned already in there, so they're actually rolling 9 dice. And then the French, uh, because they're attacking into a uh, rough area, as, uh, as is the, gar is the, uh, the building itself, they are getting uh, minus 1 dice, so they're only attacking with 6 against the British uh, 9. So, as I say, I think this is going to go pretty badly for the French. We roll the dice, 4 plus as our hits, so let's roll for the French attack, see how many they get. Uh, they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, there's no re-rolls at least for the French. Uh, so they've, they've scored three hits, and the British have got to save those three hits, and yes, they've done it quite easily. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven in total, to uh, seven saves basically. So the French lose, so what happens there is the defender outcomes, the defender's score was higher than the attacker's score, so they just take one fatigue. So we'll just cross that off there. So let's drop them down to six. I mean, that's the point. It's, it's slowing them up at least, you know, grinding them a little. And then the attacker, if the defender equaled or outscored the attack, then they take two fatigues and then they retreat. Uh, however, they will fall back and they will fall back facing their enemy because they were the active units. If they were passive, they would have fallen back and turned around. They bounce back and they will fall back to behind this unit here, so I'm just going to let them go that to there. So they've pushed in and been repulsed. Okay, so the British aren't doing a great deal. All they've done is they've moved forward their 2nd Everland Light Cavalry to uh, threaten the flank of uh, Pierre's 2nd Cavalry Division there. Uh, may as well at least try and give them a charge, if nothing else, give them a bit of taste of steel. And then they're firing with the 2nd Nassau Division, Bernard's, into the French, uh, I think it's the uh, 7th Division there. So they're starting with 6 because that's their strength. They are over strength, but that only works in combat. However, they do have an attack artillery so that gives them a plus one we're looking for sixes to hit they have the skirmish trait 
they are at volley range so the skirmish trait doesn't count so we're just looking for sixes to hit see uh, they've hit one two three hits on that French unit so that's pretty good okay so the French have moved uh, six of their units uh, so sorry eight of their units so we're gonna have to see if they are uh, if their turn ends so let's just do that before we go into anything else uh, nine so they can actually continue after this as well so what they've done is I'll just go through it they've moved these guys forward to start attacking here they moved the reserve up they've also attacking into the town again uh, try to grind them out they've pushed the cavalry into with uh, this unit into the Nassau over here so they're going to be fighting here so I put the dice out then they've also prepared these two units because we've got this threat of the cavalry coming in at the back here so they're just basically forming square so the French here we've got an attack of four an attack of six so that's ten dice in total so two four six eight ten there uh, we then the defenders have split their dice they've got seven dice because they've got their over strength so they put three on defending against the uh, attack from there from the uh, uh, from the uh, fr from the, uh, the 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 infantry and then four against the cavalry attack over there they're gonna have to re-roll the cavalry attack that's why I've done them separately so first of all let's roll our French attack so these are looking for four here. Yes, these are all just the same so we've got one two three four five and six of those there's no rewards for the french here so they've got six hits in total so let's roll against the, their infantry first of all now these are just going to be counted so they've saved one uh, so far it's not looking good is it and then they've got to save as many as they can of these but they get to they have to re-roll their saves because they're uh, unprepared against cavalry so one save and uh, five so they've actually uh, they had to re-roll it so that's another save so they've saved two but they've taken four hits now the attackers both take one elan uh, hit each for attacking and then the defender will take the difference in the dice so i mean it's still grinding the french down uh, but they then take a difference of four and then they are pushed back to base width facing away from their enemy so one two three four so those poor chaps came out of that pretty badly so we move them back and they are then there and following up now uh, the French cavalry are not impetuous so they don't have to follow up neither do these it's an involuntary move but they could if they want to I'm not going to because they are pretty badly damaged they are down to three Elan so they are pretty fragile at this point already and then our next attack is the French over here they're coming in and they're piling in here so uh, this time the British uh, they've got a, uh, five, uh, a strength of six uh, minus one because the under strength I forgot about the last time but they are steady so it cancels it out but they are also then in the buildings so they get an eight for their roll the French are six attacking into the buildings minus one so it's eight against five so again the British you know should stand this but let's have a look we've got one two three four five hits uh, sorry five defenses so the French are going to have to hit with every single one of those. Actually, no, they can't anyway, can they? So it makes no difference. <laughs> so uh, they've only scored one. So, yeah, the difference is four. The defenders win. They take another Elan hit. And the attackers take two. And they are then pushed back. So they are bounced back to the back of the queue once again. And... Uh, the British still hold that place. The only other thing that the uh, the French have done this turn is activate their second curl, well their f uh, first curl over there, and they've moved them forward. That's that's been uh, in total 17 units have now activated. So basically, if they get 18 triple six, then they can continue doing something. Doubt it's going to happen. Nope, <laughs> five. So that ends the French turn. Okay, so it's the British turn. Uh, they have. Basically, they've activated three units in this central uh, first core. They've basically moved uh, these guys over and these guys over as well to start to support the attack that's coming in. They've also turned around uh, the Nassau as well, so they're at least facing the enemy. 
Then they're also going to start opening fire, and these two are going to fire into the cavalry, then the cavalry are going to charge into them from the flank. And as I said in the introduction, I'm doing things out of sequence. You can fire and then move, or move, then fire. Uh, so it's just uh, all you're doing is you're activating that unit, and then we'll check the momentum before we go on to the next one. So that's, that's how this is working, just in case you missed the introduction and my previous comments. I'm just trying to nip any comments in the bud. Uh, so we've got two shots firing first of all. Both of these I think are skirmish strength length. Yes, uh, skirmish and skirmish. Uh, these ones over here do have skirmish, so they get a 5, but we're going to half their attacks. And also these ones over here are over strength, but they don't have anything else. So we're starting with 5 for both of them. So we'll do these ones first. They are skirmish length, so they are halving it and rounding up so this is threes they need sixes to hit I don't think I'm gonna oh no one hit <laughs> there you go we shouldn't uh, shouldn't doubt it so that's a hit there then we've got the second ones here these are uh, firing same again five halved rounded up is three uh, but they also count a single five as a hit as well uh, as well as a six so they've got two fives and a one so that's another hit as well so that's a skirmish bonus then as I say we are activating these guys and these are going to pile straight into them so they are now flanking them so this means that the French are going to have to re-roll any successors so the first of all uh, Merlin's second Netherland light cavalry are attacking with 5d6 these guys are over here are defending with 3d6 Pyrrhus men so let's just see what happens I don't think the French are going to come out particularly well on this one but let's have a look uh, fours up for this, so we've got one, two, three, four, uh, three hits for the attackers and then the defenders, and these are re rolling their defense dice, remember? So let's have a look. That is one save, and we re roll that. It's a three, no saves. So that's three hits. So that has actually destroyed them. Uh, so that's taken them down. So that's the first French casualty. Now these are not impetuous, so they don't have to follow up, but that's the first blood to the British. And they only need eight more of those to win the game. So the only other firing is the second guards infantry uh, under Bing, and they are firing across here at these French. Uh, they normally have an eight because they've got artillery and a seven for their Elan. They're firing at skirmish range, so they're half that to four, but they also have skirmish trait, so that means they can re-roll, uh, they can uh, counter five as a hit as well. Well look, sixes, just one six, a three, a one and a four. So one hit on them at least, if nothing else. So this centre is really heating up at the moment. I've got some uh, quite a lot of firing, and then we've got another attack, another assault on the village as well. Uh, so the French have... Uh, you moved basically two units here, so that's all they've used so far, so they can actually uh, get another unit moving. No, sorry, three, because they brought forward another one there. So they, let's just check for their momentum, first of all, if they basically roll triple one. Uh, they are uh, end of the turn. <laughs> God, it was close. Five uh, on three dice. So they can continue after this. But first of all, we're going to start with these guys. These are firing. These are firing skirmish at those British. They only have, uh, oh, they, they're over strength. So they're starting with six, which goes to seven. So that would then half down to four, but they've also got skirmish. So uh, they are, if they roll a five, they get a hit as well. So let's have a look. Sixes and fives, no, nothing. Double one, or three and four. So no effect there. Then we've got these ones over here firing at the cavalry. This time, because they're firing at cavalry, they are penalised for that, but they're both firing with six dice each. Uh, both are skirmish length, I think, yeah, skirmish and skirmish. They both have skirmishes in there, though, uh, so they're going to have to half the dice, so let's just work it out. So we've got starting with six, they're halving it because they are firing a skirmish, and then we half again, so we round down to two. So both are firing two, so the first ones, but they do get uh, that five as well, so six as they're looking for. The first one, yes, has scored one hit, the Dutch cavalry, uh, so that's making them, you know, slowly grinding my way. And the second one, a six and a single five. So there's one five there, so that's another hit as well. So they have knocked them down to two Elan, which is pretty good going, I guess. Then over here, we've got this attack going in again, another attack, another wave coming in. Let's start with the British. They have 
five to start with. They're over strength, uh, but they are uh, they uh, sorry they're they're under strength, but they also have steady, so that cancels out. They are in the building, so that is seven in total. However, over here, these guys have only got three, and they're attacking with. Uh, so they take one off, so that's only two for them. And then the other guys over there, they've got six, and they are also taking one off as well, so that is uh, down to five. So basically it's seven against, uh, sorry, not seven, yeah, one, two, two, four, six, seven, yeah, seven against seven this time. So let's see, roll them all together. The French are automatically gonna take one uh, Elan damage anyway. So the British have saved one, two, three, and four. The French have caused one, <laughs> two. So both the French are pushed back, uh, taking in a land damage. The British also taking a land, so it is slowly, slowly grinding them down. Uh, but the, the French, because they attacked, they've taken two because they've been pushed back. So I'll just bounce those back out of the way and we'll see what, they're all, what else they're going to do. The only other thing the French have done is move first core forward, so these have just pushed forward. Uh, this is 12 at the moment, their momentum is currently on 12, so if they roll fewer lower than 12, then they end their turn. Hopefully they're not going to, because they want to get their third core moving, because they're probably gonna need to push new reinforcements into the attack in the center, I think. Uh, seven, so there you go, that's seven, so they uh, end their turn there. Okay, so it's turn 10 for the British, so we're about a third of the way through the battle at the moment. Uh, they're first of all, they're going to fire over here. Well, these are going to fire anyway, and I'm going to do some moving over here to get these units forward, probably, and also bring these cavalry up. I want to get these guys out of the way. I also want to get these out, and I'm going to retire these as well voluntarily. So we'll do that first of all. So we're going to move by core. So these are all within a base width of each other. Unfortunately, those cavalry are just over a base width away. So they can't be included in this core move, but if I can move units forward, it's gonna support them at least. So first of all, I'm going to withdraw this unit. So that's one point. So that's a, a uh, voluntary withdrawal, basically meaning it takes them out of danger. So that's all they're doing. And I'm gonna bring forward the foot guards, I think, over here, no, it's the KGL, sorry. One particular, and they're just gonna move forward. Simple move there. And then gonna move these guys. Uh, they can pivot and then move so we can get in there against those French at least and then also move these up as well just behind oh everybody's stuck to the their uh, <laughs> to the fields then I'm also going to bring forward these guys just as a support here and keep those back for a minute because I just don't want to uh, push them up yet and then I'm going to also bring up these cavalry here to threaten threaten that French flank and hopefully be able to get those withdrawn as well next turn, if nothing else. Uh, these chaps in the buildings can't do anything, but we can fire over here, so I'm going to do that before I move on to the next units, but let's just see how many we've had moved so far. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to roll my dice and see if they can continue after this, and I'll just then do the firing, uh, whether we can continue or not. So I need my three dice. Have a look, so less than eight, and back to the French, uh, eight, ten. No, so they can continue after this. So I'm going to set up here and then we'll do some firing first of all. So they're firing at skirmish range, they basically got seven to start with, uh, half that, but they have skirmisher um, trait, so an extra five is a hit. Looking for sixes, and fives. So one six, that's one hit on the French. Well, over on the Allied flank, the French are coming in hot, so I'm going to want to get some of these pushed forward to get a bit of support, I think, uh, because it's probably going to heat up quite a lot over here. So I'm just going to actually bring some of these forward into line uh, so they can't fire, but they can move. Uh, let's get these cavalry over here as well, just to threaten those French, if nothing else. And same with the Dutch Belgians, bring these up onto the top of the hill as well. I'll say just to create a second line behind at least if nothing else and then we've got a bit of firing so they're going to fire at the uh, the, the French over there and then 
we've got these guys here. These are going to fire as well. Right, both units I've got are using cannons, so they get a plus one for that. Uh, the first one's over here, this 6 Brigade under Johnson they, uh, with a 6, so that will go up to 7. But they're firing at skirmish, so we're halving it down to 4. And they're just firing straight ahead, but they have got the skirmish trait, so a 5 is also a hit, as well as 6s. 3-6s, uh, everybody. Good shooting there for those guys, so quickly cross that off, and that was a heavy hitting French units as well that so that's taken them right down to four. Uh, over on the other side uh, we've got uh, this is a fifth uh, brigade so this is <coughs> seven again plus one becomes eight they're firing with skirmish but they are firing at cavalry so uh, they have to re-roll their successes so we're looking for six and five again uh, we've got one f uh, two fives so only one of those counts uh, so they're going to have to re-roll that, so they need a 6 or a 5 for this as well to do some damage. Uh, that was cocked, so I'm going to re-roll it. 6, yes it's hit, so they have actually hit those cavalry despite the odds. So, so far the Allies have used up 18 momentum, so, uh, sorry, 15 momentum. So there's still a chance that they may actually get to move something else, and it will be these Brunswick, so that's what they're going to try to do. Or they could actually just withdraw the cavalry over there. So let's just roll to see what happens anyway. They need over 15 to carry on doing what they're doing. Uh, double 6 is 12, 14. Oh, so close, so close. Two more, and they would have uh, they would have been able to continue. But that's it, that ends their turn. Okay, so <clears throat> we're back to the French turn. Uh, this is the 11th turn now, actually. Uh, so we, we're still going to keep pressure up on the buildings in the centre here, and they're going to push these in. So this has cost them one. They're going to actually unprepare these guys. So this is going to cost them two, and charge in as well with those. So we're trying their best to dislodge the uh, first guards. So that's two actions. They're keeping those prepared. They're going to get rid of this, so they're going to withdraw those. So they haven't destroyed them, but they've taken them off the table because they were practically dead anyway. So that's three they've used so far. Then, mm, is it worthwhile charging in over here just to uh, apply a little bit of pressure, I think? And I think they're going to, yeah. They'll charge in here in between those trees against those guys and then they will also bring these forward so what have we said so far we've got one two three four five so far they're keeping them prepared because there are still some cavalry milling around over here and then we're going to bring these up and also those up so that's seven that the French have used right we'll do some of this fighting I think and uh, see what happens first things first these chaps over here, I don't know who they are, it's uh, Guardians Brigade are firing at the uh, Light Cavalry under Malen. So this is three dice, they have got skirmish because they're at skirmish level. They need a five, one five or any sixes, but they're re-rolling successes because they're firing at cavalry. They just need two hits here, right, they've hit a, far, a six, so that is one hit. That gets a re-roll, so once again if they get a five or a six here, done it no four so no effect from their firing so we've got this fight first of all in between these woods uh, the French have got uh, six against the British I think it's eight two four six eight yeah so the French are probably gonna lose this but they need to start bringing down their uh, the, the opponent's Elan so let's just have a look we're looking at fives and six uh, four five sixes to hit and the four five sixes to defend in red so we've got uh, quite a few defenses here so we've got three four five and six against the French, five. Mm, dear. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, five French, uh, six defences. So the French have lost. So they get pushed back. They get pushed back, and they lose two Elan. But the British at least lose one Elan. Anyway, so I'll just cross those off. Uh, so that's badly battered that French unit, and then they will get bounced back. So they will fall back to about there. So then we got this French attack into the uh, built up area again. The British are actually defending with six this time, unfortunately for them. Whereas the French have got uh, nine, ten, uh, nine, ten in total. So ten against six. Hopefully this may, may push the British out, but let's just see. Uh, fives and six, four fives and sixes uh, are what we're looking for. So we've got one, two, three. The British have defended three. Uh, ignore those one, two, three. How many have the French taken? So one two, three, four, five, and six. So there is a difference there of three. So the British take three hits. 
Uh, each of the French units will take one hit each as well, uh, and then one of them can actually follow up and move into there as well. So they've actually pushed the British out, so the British are going to be out and facing away from them as well, so that's going to not look great for them. So I'll mark up their, their hits in a second, but they are now down to, they've only got one Elan left, I think, after that. Yeah, they've taken three hits, so then we will move this French unit in and capture that built up area. Okay, so it's still a French turn, so they've used up seven so far. So we're probably gonna, hopefully gonna get them to do some firing on their left flank. Let's have a look. Well, they can fire anyway. Uh, they have rolled over seven, so yes, they can continue activating their other units, which is perfect actually. It's what they, exactly what they wanted. Okay, over here on the French left flank and the Allied right flank, we're gonna do a bit of fighting i think uh first of all we're going to charge these guys straight into third brigade because they are currently out of square so that should hopefully give them a good bit of hammer and then what i want to do actually is pour, pile these two french units into uh these two british ones the two allied ones here so that's the plan so we're going to go one so there's going to be a bit of an overlap and they're going to hit well actually they're going to just going to hit that that unit there so we're going to pile those in shift them apart and then we'll pile these in as well so they will then get in <clears throat> so we can have uh, two fights two separate fights and then I will bring forward everybody else they will come forward just by a step here so so far we've used one two three four five six seven of their uh, core and then we'll also bring forward the last two over here these are moving through the woods, so they're just going to be moving at one base width, and so they're about here. And then same with these chaps here in the back as well. Just in a support. Right, what I'll do is I'll work out who's doing what, and the fights, and how many dice there are. Okay, first I'm going to do this attack here. So this is, uh, well let's have a look, we've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the French, because they've got ten in total, but minus one because one unit is under strength against the British six. Uh, plus one because they are steady so uh, that gives them a total of seven against uh, ten I think it was, I said nine I think it is so let's see, the French may do okay here, let's have a look four, five, sixes, uh, we've got one Cox British dice there so I'm going to re-roll that in a second but we've got one, two defences actually and how many French uh, wins, we've got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six seven uh, hits, two defences, I said I'm going to re-roll this one because uh, it was cocked, let's have a look, that is <laughs> cocked again, so another re-roll on that, uh, two, so that's nothing, so we've got, uh, that's hit them with five, so that's basically uh, the French both take one shock each, so let's cross those off, one and one, and the British have taken five, one, two, three, four, five, and they are then turned fully around and are end up facing back. They can't uh, stop there, so they're going to have to push back to here. So that was a good French win. That's what you do, just pile the men in there if you can. Right, okay, so the next fight is going to be on that flank. Uh, this one's probably not going to be as decisive. Uh, for the French here, we've got, let's have a look, we've got, we're starting with six for the French, so let's count those up, one, two, three, four, five, six, they, I don't think they've got anything else, uh, they've just got skirmish, however, over here, we have got, um, this is Mitchell's Brigade, they've got Steady, so that gives them seven dice, two, four, six, seven, because they started with six, so six against seven, again, I don't, don't think this is going to be particularly good, but let's just see if the French can do something. Uh, the British have saved one, two, however, the French have only done one, so that's two hits. We'll both take an Elan hit anyway. Shot, but the French actually take two, and they are then bounced back. And they're bounced back to a safe spot, which is going to be about here. So the British have held on there at least. And then meanwhile over here, <clears throat> we've got the cavalry fights here. So this is probably not gonna go particularly well for the British, but we're starting, they've got starting with six, seven in total. They are also steady, so that will then take them up to eight in total. 
Uh, the French have only five dice, however, the British are disadvantaged here, so they're going to have to re-roll because they are not in square, they're going to have to re-roll all of their successes. So this could go anyway, I guess. Let's have a look. It's a pretty heavy, uh, pretty good unit, but let's have a look. that was a, a cog dice, so I'm just re-rolling it. But they've actually only got one success, the British, whereas the French have got two. Uh, so that is, yeah, two successes against one, which is not great. Uh, but the British have got to re-roll that success. Uh, this could cause a bit of damage on them and push them back. Uh, a four is they've uh, successfully held off one, of one attack. The French have won. Uh, the British don't retreat. And they only take one damage, actually. The French don't retreat. Uh, sorry, the, the, the British don't retreat because they're against horses. So the French have to retreat and they will bounce back here despite having won. So they're back there somewhere. So the French then just used up another nine uh, units, so they're gonna, that's brought them up to 16, so they're gonna really, really need to roll high to actually get their, their third core actually into action. They've done nothing so far. That's 11, 12, no, nothing. So we go over to the British turn. Okay, over here, the next thing is, well, it's a British now, so what are we gonna do with them? Well, first of all, I'm gonna get, this core is going to, is going to do their thing. What I want to do is get these actually out of the way, so I'm going to withdraw them. They are right down to one uh, Ilan left, so there's no point having them on the board. They're just blocking things up for me, so we don't want to do that. Now, do we attack into here with uh, with Halkett? I think, yeah, we're going to. So this is number two, so they're going to go into there. These guys over here I'm going to fire, so I'm just going to put a marker on there just to remind myself that that is a a non-activation anyway, but they are just going to keep firing up there. Then, I think what we'll do is, we'll pile in here, and pile in here, so we'll hit them in the flank and hopefully try and secure that flank of the, uh, the built-up area. We've still got a couple of things happening over here, I mean, we could potentially get these guys forward, but these ones here are now in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift these out of the way. So this is going to be a, simple, a, a difficult move for them. So they want to just want to try to get them away from any danger. And then we will move these up to those prepared French. Hopefully we can try to, the, uh, the allies can at least try to crush the French there in the centre. So what I'm going to do is here is I'm also going to bring forward the cavalry over here. Let's just see how many units that is at the moment. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. I'm just going to make a quick note of that over here on my sheet. And then I will carry out all the moves and the attacks for these guys. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start with the firing over here. So these guys are firing with uh, six dice, two, four, six. They uh, they also have skirmish, they are firing at long range, they do have a plus one for the, the cannon and <clears throat> that's it, So, but we're half in that and rounding up so they're only rolling four and they can hit on a five as well, so they've got that skirmish, uh, that dice is cocked, let me roll it, so we've got one six and one five, so that's two hit on those French as they are coming in, so that's good, that's weakening them and they are actually, they're holding pretty well over here. I mean, who is it? It's uh, it's the Second Guards Infantry, well, of course. So they're just holding quite well in that little gap uh, against these French attacks. Hopefully they can hold them as much as possible. Now, meanwhile, we've got this whole confused fight here in the centre. So I'm going to start, actually, with the built-up area. So we've got Halkett going in. Uh, so he's starting with six dice. So I'm just going to work this out here on, on camera. So we've got six dice. Uh, he's steady, so he's not got shock. However, he is also attacking into built up, uh, a built-up area, so we minus one for that. The French in there, they're starting with four. They don't have anything else. They are over strength, so they get a plus one. And also they're in a built-up area, so they get a plus two for that as well. So it, I think it's about seven, yeah, seven versus five. I don't think they're gonna shift them this turn. Well, you never know. The luck is in the dice, isn't it? Uh, but let's just see. So how many British hits have we scored? One, two hits. How many French saves have they scored? Uh, three saves. So the French take the victory, but they are also knocked down one, 
and the British take two hits and they'll bounce back back to about here so that's the first one I kind of thought it might go that way but you know this is you've got to try these things I guess this one should be a little bit more successful over here I'm assuming so we've got two uh, two British or two allied we've got the second Dutch brigade uh, and also the second KGL both of these are still both at full strength and these are going against Campy's brigade he is starting with five and they're just an average French so they're just having five dice meanwhile the British are starting with six for the KGL uh, they don't have any, anything else like shock or anything uh, but we also have the Dutch and they have five and they are over strength as well so uh, they can uh, probably do quite a bit of damage here so let's have a look all these dice uh, the French have saved two meanwhile the British have caused one, two, three four, five, I keep saying British is allied isn't it really six so that's actually four hits on the French and push them back but these guys are also taking uh, a uh, uh, an Elan hit each uh, yeah so it is it's four hits on the French one two three four so that has absolutely battered them uh, one more and they would have broken and because they are forced back they're the passive player they are pushed back to there now they could follow up here uh, but I don't want them to I want them to hold where they are I think and that's it for that uh, that's 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 it for the first core of the British so we had nine activations there let's see uh, if they continue, so they've got eight, uh, yes, 11, so they can continue. So there's going to be some more fighting, I think, over on the Allied right flank. They're not making the same mistake, and these guys are going to go prepared, first of all. Uh, so that's one activation. They are then going to withdraw these because they are broken. So that's now two activations. So these are withdrawn rather than destroyed. It is weakening their line in total. I think they're just going to hold here. These guys are going to fire across, so I'll just put a marker on to remind me that they are firing uh, and they are going to fire at that closest French unit. So, what we'll do is we'll actually do that first of all. And then, these are going to pile through them and into the French unit there that is unprepared as well. So, that's the, uh, that's the plan. Uh, we've just been joined by Tiny, uh, but she is not going to stop the British from doing what they're doing. So, they've got they start with five, they get a plus one because of their uh, attached artillery. They've also got firepower as well, so that means any uh, any fives become sixes. Oh, sorry, one five becomes a six, uh, and that's it. So let's have a roll and see what we've got. I'm looking for sixes, so they've got two sixes and a five. So that's actually caused three damage on those French, and has broken that unit. Uh, so it completely destroyed them. So they're gone, so that's another French hit. That's taken the French army uh, army breakpoint now down to uh, down to seven. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pile in with these. So there we go. That's another one. So so far we've activated one, two because the firing wasn't an activation. And I'll decide what I'm going to do with the rest of them. So we've got an attack by the British here. These are impetuous, so they're going to have to follow up. So we've got an attack by sorry by the uh, Dutch cavalry, Hanoverian cavalry not Dutch, Hanoverian, uh, against a, an unprepared enemy. So this means that the French are then re-rolling any of their, uh, their, uh, their, their, their successes. So let's see what happens with this. So the British have scored, the Dutch, sorry, the, the Netherlanders have scored one, two, three hits. Uh, meanwhile, the French have saved two of those, four and a five, so they're gonna have to re-roll those two. Let's see what they come up with on that second roll. And that's one save. So they've actually caused two damage on them. However, the they don't retreat because they're infantry against cavalry. So the cavalry are going to have to bounce back, but they do take one hit. So it's kind of like hit them and bounce back. But the French have taken two hits as well. So that's pretty good at least. So the Allies are doing nothing else <coughs> with second corps. They're just going to hold their position. So they're currently on 10, so we're going to see if we can get that uh, the Brunswick's into, into line or not. Let's see, so 5, no, they roll less than their momentum, so that's it. So now the French are going to 
change their tactics and their, their emphasis is actually going to change over to this flank for this turn. So we are actually going to pile in straight away these guys into here, into the attack, and these ones into here as well. So try to shift the first KGL out of there. It's probably not going to happen. Can we fire as well at the same time? Yes, we've got two, uh, three units that can fire at the 4th Brigade over here, so they're going to try to do that. Uh, they really need to be shifting these, uh, the, the the battalion out of, sorry, the brigade out of that built up area just to uh, to make, uh, to, to hold those two villages if they can, that's their plan. Uh, and then hopefully they'll have something left over to do with the other units. So they've only used up two at the moment and they're holding back with their cavalry at the back there so actually all they're going to do is this one attack let's do the firing first of all so we've got six from these chaps over here these are with skirmishers uh, but they are halving their hits so we're down to three so they've got our skirmish uh, trait so five as well as any sixes so one six is a hit and they're bringing it all down on them so we then next one is only has in the line of four, so we're halving that, but they've got skirmishes as well, so six and a five, so another six, another hit there. Uh, these chaps are, unfortunately for them, pretty much out in the open. Uh, they are taking some damage. And then we've got six over there, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, so we're halving that. And then I'm gonna say they're gonna re-roll their successes because they're firing through trees, so I don't think it's a, a great shot. Uh, so three, 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 one, no. So no hits anyway. Meanwhile, over here, we've got the attack on the village. So the British are holding with, they're starting with six on their Elan. They get plus two for being in the built up area. And I think they're also steady as well, yep. They are the first KGL, so they are also steady. So they get another, an extra one, that's quite a lot. So we've got the French, uh, the first one is worth six and the other one is five. So that's 11 in total for the French. Uh, so look, so we've got six, five, uh, however, one of them is under strength, uh, actually both are under strength, so two off in total for the French. And they're fighting into uh, into the U uh, BUA, so they minus another two for one for each stand. So it's not going to, it might, I don't know, it's about, the British have probably got more chance here, but they are trying to just reduce their, their, uh, their Elan if they can. That was a, a cock die, so I'll just re-roll it, so for the British. Looks like they're holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's everything apart from one. And the French have only caused three hits. So both of those French units are going to be bounced back and also will take two Elan hits on them as well. Well, the British are only taking one. So, well, KGL, they're not British, they're German. And Let's just cross those off and cross those off and I'll get those set up. So, so far the French have only activated two units, so they can't roll less than two on 3d6. So we're just going to continue without that. First of all, they are withdrawing these guys, so that has cost them one. Then they will probably fire with these chaps here who are prepared, uh, just because they have to. I mean, this French centre is actually very weak at this point. Uh, and it's not looking great for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these up and then also these up. So that's cost us so far one, two, three for the French, uh, plus those two they've already had. So we're up to five as it is. So they might actually be able to bring in their their, uh, their their third core. And as I say, all I'm going to do is get these ones over here to fire. And that's literally it. So they've just got six and they can fire normally. They are close by. They're not over strength, are they? No, they've just got skirmish. So they're just firing normally. Sixes are hits. That's it. Uh, five, five, one, 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 three. No, no hits. Uh, oh yeah, they've got these ones over here. These are going to fire as well at skirmish uh, because if they attack now, it will be disastrous for them. So they're firing on skirmish. Uh, sorry, it's only two dice. They, they started with four, they're half that to two. So that's two fours is no hits. And it feels a little like the impetus has gone out of the French fight at the moment and they are taking heavy casualties in that centre from all the fighting they did. But they're still pretty fresh in places so they're going to see if they can start getting third core moving now to bring up fresh reserves. So they're currently on five. Uh, so five, nine, they are fine. They can do something with them. Okay, I'm not sure of the movement but basically they're just committed 
third core over here. These are now going to try to get into that centre to hopefully batter some of the allied weak units and hopefully help to hold that built up area. But let's see what happens. Okay, right, the allied plan now is basically to try to hold this centre as much as possible and trying to clear it off of the French. First of all, they're going to move these uh, horses out of the way just so they can uh, re withdraw those next turn. Uh, so that's one unit used so far. We've still got the French hold up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to re-attack with these. So that's two so far. We've got quite a lot of attacking going on here, I think. Uh, I want to hit into those. And then these are going to charge in as well. The, uh, that's the Netherland Heavy Cavalry. So that's another two that we use so far. So we're four. Meanwhile, I'm also going to charge I think I'm going to charge the Dutch Belgians into the rear and the flank of those French there and try and smash them up a little bit, if that's all possible. Uh, probably hold back the, the rest of these guys just for now. So we've got quite a few fights going on. The KGL here, they're in a bit of a rubbish situation because they can't actually charge into that. Or oh, can they? Can they actually... They can, they're up to 45 degrees and the French are in it, so yeah, they can actually charge in. So I'm going to charge the KGL in there as well, so that's another another one. So that's five of their units. And so what I want to do is try and clear out this en entire French centre, uh, if they can, or you know, batter it so badly that they just then have to hold against those reserves that they come in. So let's see, first of all, actually, I'm going to start with the firing over here. These guys, these are, these are currently on six with a plus one for their... Uh, their, their cannon and also skirmish as well so that takes them to seven so they're rolling four dice with a re-roll because of their skirmish trait oh sorry no a five uh, with the skirmish trait so that's caused one hit at least on those French as they come in so they are taking a hammering there as they do come in then we've got two combats well three combats actually so Let's see, let's go with the first one here, I think this one, this is going to be the, uh, the the decisive one. So we're going to start with the first, the KGL, so they've got five of their starting and that's all they have. They've got steady so they're not. Uh, it's not good for them attacking, however we do have uh, four as well for the uh, for Halkett's Brigade, uh, they are steady as well so they don't take anything. But they're both attacking into rough ground so we take one off of each of those. Meanwhile, the French are starting with three. They don't have anything else, but they do have two for being in the building. So we are currently seven against five. Uh, the odds are on the Allies for this one. But let's see what the dice rolls actually come up with. Uh, so that's some of the cock dice there. So we can just re-roll that in a second once I cancel the uh, attacks. We've got one, two, three, four, five hits. And only one save, see, two saves. So depending on what this one is, this will be the final result. So look, see, yeah, that's another hit. So that is four hits on those French. That's destroyed them, so that's another French unit gone. Now they can follow up if they want, and I'm going to. They are going to follow up and push right into that building. So that's another hit on the French, taking their break point down to six, which is not good for them at this point. And then we've got this attack here. Now this is going in on the flank, so they're going to have to do re-rolls for this, the French, and they are starting with just with four. Uh, however, the uh, the Dutch have got, they are over strength, so they're starting with four plus one, two, three, four, five in total. So four against five, and the French are re-rolling successes. So this could be pretty good as well for the uh, for the Dutch, let's just see. Uh, well, maybe not with those rolls. Let's have a look, we've got one, two, Three hits from the Dutch, three saves for the French, but as I say, they've got, because they've been hitting the flank, they're going to have to re-roll those. Uh, this time it's only one save, so they've actually taken two hits, and they are also pushed back by the Dutch as well, take one hit as well. So let's just, it's not wiped them out, but it's got them close, and they're down to two Elan now, so they are arguably relatively badly damaged. The Dutch are just going to stay where they are, there's no point charging in elsewhere and then finally for this round of fighting they are actually they're pushing out in this center aren't they so we've got the, these guys here both of them are on 10 the French are on six uh, sorry both are on five for the 
allies, so we've got five and a five, we've got uh, cavalry and infantry here. However, the cavalry are attacking into a, a square prepared position, so they're going to have to re roll their dice. So we'll do those separately. The French have got six. So what we'll do is I'll roll the two allied units separately, and then we'll roll the French. And that's the easiest way to do this. Right, so the infantry, no re rolls on these. No, I'm going to do the cavalry first. I want to get the re rolls out of the way. Uh, so they've hit three. That's pretty good going. And then they have to re roll those because of the squares. Uh, this time, two hits. So actually, not so bad. So that's two hits. And then also the rest of them. This is from the infantry. Uh, that one is cocked. We've got two, I can see two hits. Yeah, two, a four, a four, and a five there. So that's four hits in total. And the French, meanwhile, rolling their six. Got to roll pretty high to, to bounce off here. Uh, they've actually only taken one. So that's a difference of three. So the French have taken three hits there. Meanwhile, both of these take one each. The French are no longer prepared and have almost, they've taken one, two, three, and are running this way. Right, so the British are currently on five momentum. So let's see if they continue activating. Uh, six, 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 eight, eight, five. Yes, they can happily carry on going. So as the French have committed their reserves, so have the British with the Brunswick. So this has taken them up to a momentum of eight and they just moved down off the hill to probably try to start hitting those French in the flanks. So have a look, we've got eight. So actually that ends the British turn. They can't do anything else. The Allies have got nothing else they can do apart from they can fire with these guys and these guys. You don't need to be activated to fire. So the first one's over here, firing at that cavalry. Six, but they're re-rolling their successors. Uh, not a single hit, so we can ignore that. And then over here, 4th Brigade firing at the French in front of them. Two, and they have a three and a two, so no effects from the British firing. Okay, we're just coming up onto turn 15, which is the French's, and it's also pretty much halfway through the battle, or the, the day at least. We're just coming up on midday. So I just thought, let's have a little look, see where we're at. So all you've seen so far is units. So this is the where the main scrap has happened, doesn't it? In the centre here. The, this has changed hands twice now. So the British held it, the French held it, then now the, the Allies, not the British, have also held it. The French units that were being used to push into it are absolutely battered at this point. Well, one is kind of holding on just, uh, but the other one is pretty battered. They're down to two Ilan. We've also got over here, as part of the French uh, Central Corps, these guys are running away, currently facing away against their enemy, uh, with cavalry just about to hit them in the bum as well, if unless they're un very unlucky. I don't think that's going to last very long because the French reserves, as you can see here, uh, Third Corps are just about to arrive, so they might put a hole in that, uh, that cavalry's unit at least. Meanwhile, in the centre then, the Allies, well I'll just show you as well, the Brunswicks are now moving off the hill to come down to help this centre, just to shore it up as the French have dispatched their, uh, their supports. So we've got, we've still got pretty fresh units in here, to be honest. There's a, uh, so far the British have, have withdrawn three units, the French have had three destroyed and have withdrawn two units, uh, mostly from that centre, but they are about to withdraw another uh, units here because they're pretty battered there's no point having them hanging around then we've got over here we've got the guards second guards have been holding this small attack here by these uh, two French brigades so they've been holding them off and they're quite battered as well at this point they're both down to three Elan and over here on the right hand flank of the Allies left hand flank of the, the, the French the Allies are holding on in the town uh, they've only taken one land damage, so the French are really going to have to up their game to get into into that town. Uh, they've also got squares over here as well uh, against the French cavalry, and they are holding in the centre this Dutch unit here, 4th Brigade. Sorry, it's not Dutch, it's British. They have taken quite a battering. Uh, they might get withdrawn next turn. Don't really want to get them destroyed, but they have a very strong line at the back of the hill, on the hill itself. Uh, not a single... Uh, touch of damage on any of these guys so they've got a big big strong reserve meanwhile the French some of these some of these are taking hits as you can probably just make out uh, but not all of them so they are, do have some fresh units in there still all to play for uh, I don't know which way it's going to go I mean the British are putting in a, a really good defense here 
but the French attack is very very strong as well so as I say it could go either way really uh, just on, purely on numbers the French are now down five brigades whereas the the Allies are down three they're probably going to withdraw those so that'll take them to four so it's still pretty in the balance but you know numbers wise on a pure numbers case I think the Allies have just got the the edge at this point can they hold on though okay so turn 15 now then with the French I'd say literally halfway through this battle at this point so what we're going to do here is they are now concentrating on this flank uh, on their left flank if they can the first thing they want to do is push these back into the action then also turn these and push those in as well meanwhile they have these guys are coming through the woods so I'm just going to bring them forward and those as well so so far we've got one two three uh, so that's sorry that's four so far have activated and can they yes yeah, so they'll charge fourth brigade and then we'll bring these up as well so we're kind of trying the tactic before as before really just to try to clear out this central area whilst isolating the built up area over here Let's see how that goes, shall we? So we'll start with our fight in the centre here. It's pretty straightforward. It's actually four French against three allied. Uh, hopefully the French can do some damage here. Uh, let's just see. Hitting on fours up. It's a pretty straight up one. So the French have actually caused two hits there against two hits on the, well, two defences on the allies. So that's four and a five. Uh, so no, sorry, three hits. So that is one over for the French, so they actually managed to hit them and knock them back as well. But they've taken a hit as well, so that's going to fall them back this way and away. So they've cleared that center almost. They may may be retired. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Then the important one is over here, which is the big fight in the farm itself. So the French have got ten for their starting rolls. So let's get those dice up first of all. So we've got eight nine ten in total however taking two off for attacking into rough ground meanwhile the british uh the kgl should i say have got five plus two for being in there so five plus another two and uh, if they've got anything else in there they are also steady so they get an extra one as well so that's what we uh the french are still ooh, slightly outnumbered well, let's have a look four fives and sixes so we've got one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the British defence. Meanwhile, those French have got five. So the French are taking two hits each. Uh, that has actually battered them quite badly. The British hold and the French are thrown back. So, so far this turn, the French have used up six. Let's see, they can carry on. 14, they're okay. Right, I'm going to cut back to French uh, second corps because I kind of want to get them done and a little bit out of the way really uh, because now uh, there's quite a few things I want to do with these so these guys are going to just charge straight into the Dutch Belgians there I'm going to actually turn those and move them back to try to get them out and these ones here these will turn around as well so that's so far we've used up uh, two more actually because yeah these guys can't do anything just remembered because it's a core move so they'd have to activate on their own so they're going to sit where they are unfortunately for them uh, but we're just going to try to do some damage here to these Dutch Belgians so we got they're basically starting with four and that's it that's all they got four dice against the uh, Belgians four dice because they are over strength so four fives and sixes really just try to uh, do some damage at this point. Uh, the Dutch Belgians have only saved one. The French have defeated them by four, well three there. So that's it. three hits on those. That's destroyed that unit, uh, but the French still take eight hits as well. So that is actually the first Allied unit to be destroyed. French momentum rolled is now on eight. 
So let's see if they can carry on going. Yes, they can, 10, 12. So they are going to activate their next core. So the French have activated their third core over here. They just basically moved forward. They didn't have enough speed to actually contact the, uh, the, the Netherlands heavy cavalry here, but at least it's put them on. And they've also, they've moved their cavalry to the side between those hill, those, uh, those, those woods to threaten the Brunswick's. Now that's taken the French score up to 15. So let's see if they can activate that individual unit on its own. Let's see they need uh, over 15 now. Uh, yes, they've got it. So that's 12, 17. So what they're going to do is they're going to move them back as an individual unit. In fact, uh, in fact, no, what they're going to do is they're going to turn them and stand them there. And that's it. So that has ended their turn. That was an individual move. That would have cost two points normally, but in this case, that's all they were doing anyway. Right. Uh, it is time once again for the British, so it's their next turn. Right, what I'm going to do here is actually these guys are going to push out of here into those French. They're going to pivot them and pile in there as an attack there. As I say, we're just trying to clear off as many of these French units at this point. Their cavalry, heavy cavalry, will also pile into that French unit there. These are going to fire at the incoming French. I think I might be able to actually charge these in as well once they finish firing. So we're going to fire first, then I'm going to charge in the uh, Netherland Light Cavalry into them. So this is all part of this core movement. So what we'll do is we'll start with this firing. It's four, it becomes two because they are, uh, well, four becomes five, so that actually becomes three dice, uh, but they're only hitting on sixes because they haven't got skirmishes. So we'll look, four, one, and a three, so no effect there. But then we will pile in our cavalry here as well. Uh, so then we've got two fights. Uh, the first one, uh, heavy cavalry, and then the light cavalry. And then we've also, sorry, three fights. Then we've also got the attack here on this French unit left over here. Right, first one. Shall we? Let's let's do the infantry one. They only need to score four hits on these guys. So we're starting off with uh, this is. Uh, the 5th Brigade under Halkett, uh, they have, they don't have any particular uh, extra power, any extra traits. They're on 4, but take one off because they're fighting out of the BUA, so it's rough ground. Meanwhile, we've got the KGL, they are starting with 5. They have no other things either, they, they're just steady, so we've got 2, 4, 6, uh, 8 against the French, 3, and they have nothing else as well. So this potentially could be disastrous for the French. At this point there, uh, the Allies are just trying to clear up units really, uh, units that aren't so badly damaged. So they've got one, how many attacks have gone in? One, two, of only one there. So it's only one hit on the French, but it has dis uh, not destroyed them, but it's knocked them down to two. So it's given them a, a bit of a hammering, so the other guys both take one hit each, and those French are then knocked back to here, or thereabouts. Uh, not following up, staying where they are. Okay, so now we're on to the cavalry attack. So we'll start with the light cavalry. So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five for the Netherlands cavalry. They just got uh, just basics. And they're up against six for the French, but the French, because they are unprepared, they are going to be re-rolling. So let's have a look. What are we on? Uh, so two, three hits from the Allies. Meanwhile, the French have got one, two, three, four hit, uh, four saves. Just getting those together. But they're re-rolling them because they are unprepared. And they've only saved two this time, so that is an extra hit on them. The cavalry will bounce back anyway because they are cavalry. Uh, and the infantry don't retreat because when they're attacked by cavalry, they don't retreat. So basically that will just bring them back here. Uh, mediocre, really, that, wasn't it? But anyway, uh, this one should hopefully prove to be the better one. So we've got the heavy cavalry. They're hitting with a four against the French, who now have three left. The French, are once again, are re-rolling any successes. So the chance of them doing anything here is going to be pretty slight. But let's have a look. We've got... They've, uh, they've saved two. Uh, meanwhile, the Dutch cavalry have hit three. So three against two. So two are getting re-rolled. Six and a one, so it's only one. So they've actually caused two damage on them, which means they are down to one on their Ilan now. So cross those off, cross off that, and then they also bounce back 
so approximately there just in front of their their heavy cavalry so uh, not as good as it could have been but at least they've damaged them pretty badly then finally as part of this cause activation or not activation in this case the guards are firing ahead of them so they're hitting on uh, sixes and a five uh, three sixes oh they've just destroyed another french brigade Absolutely withering firepower has destroyed uh, Piat's brigade, 7th division. Right, let's check the momentum for the British. They're currently on 4, uh, so I think they'll hopefully hold <laughs> this time. Yeah, there you go, 12, so they're fine, they're fine. Okay, over on the Allied flank, I'm going to fire with these first of all. These guys, they are firing at those French uh, horses in front of them. They're rolling 4 dice, but they are re-rolling because they're firing against the cavalry. But they have got skirmish, so the 5 is also a hit. Uh, that's just one hit. If we re-roll it, it needs a five or a six. No, it doesn't, so no effect. Not really doing a great deal. Next, they're going to be moving, so we're going to pile these in here. The cavalry straight in. And also, I think we can also charge in with the 3rd Hanoverian Brigade. They can get in as well. So they're going to hit those. They've only got three left. I want to withdraw this unit, so so far we're on one, two, three because they're badly damaged. We'll just get rid of them, get them out of the way. And is there anything else that we can... Should we start pushing forward here? I was kind of thinking that, but I don't know. No, I think I think we'll just carry it. We'll do, keep on what, we, what we've done, just try and destroy them piecemeal if we can. So we're starting over here then. So the uh, French are actually going to be re-rolling successes against the cavalry. So uh, this is a bit different because, well, I'm going to have... Five for the infantry, first of all, and then I've got five for the cavalry. Uh, whereas the, uh, I've got three for the French defending. Now, I don't know what happens if you've got infantry and cavalry attacking together. And there's a, I think you have to split the two defences between them. So they're going to put two defences onto the, 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 the men there. So I'm going to split this into two separate but simultaneous attacks, basically. So first of all, this is the hand just so I know which ones I'm going to re-roll. So this is against the Hanoverians. Uh, Hanoverians have caused one, two, three, four, five hits. The French have only taken, saved one. And this time this is going to be against the, the cavalry. So this, if it's a success for the French, they've got to re-roll it. Yeah, they're going to have to. So that's a success for the re-roll in it. So the cavalry have scored one, but these are all together. Uh, with the infantry as well. Let's have a look at one. No, they haven't saved it. So they've caused two, four, six hits against the French. Uh, sorry, five hits against the French because they saved one. So that's destroyed a second unit. Now, these are impetuous, so they do have to follow up. Uh, they can't go any further than that. So let's just cross off some of their Elan. So that's another French unit is now wiped out. So just to finish off that cause movement, the line has had a general advance and they've just come up to plug in these gaps along the line of the built up area. Uh, they are definitely holding here and the French are now four more units, five more units, sorry, no, four more units uh, gone and, the, Fr and the, the French have lost this battle. So the British are gonna try to get the Brunswick's to do something. Let's just have a look. They need uh, uh, over 10 on this. 10, 13, yes, so they can get the Brunswick's to do something. So they could actually just charge straight into the uh, the French there. It's gonna be a disadvantage to them, but they do have the two units coming behind. So we're gonna charge in, pile into them, why or not? And then we'll bring forward the two units there. So they also have a bit of support as well. So we've got uh, the Brunswick's are with starting with a six but they are under strength so that takes them to a five this is just a straight fight so they're all just on that five and the french meanwhile have got six so this is just a straight straight up scrap another cavalry skirmish that's a look brunswick's have hit one two the french have defended one uh, and that's it so the french have pushed back taking one hit meanwhile the brunswick's take one hit as well so the french actually fall back to and turn around worthwhile doing I think okay the French are going to concentrate over here on this flank uh, because why not all right first of all these ones here these are just going to move forward out of the wood or at least up to the wood so one we've got two uh, they're going to turn those around three these guys can actually charge straight into those units there 
four. And they'll bring these up. Five. Can we get those past them? Just six. And then seven to there. And I think that'll do for now. So uh, basically everybody's pretty much moved. We've just got that one attack of the, uh, the French. So these guys are conscripts. The French are just normal. So it's five against five. Uh, I don't know if this is... Uh, no real change there, I guess. This, oh, well, let's just see. Uh, we've got two, two French hits. No, three French hits. Four French hits against one Dutch save. So that's three hits on those Dutch, so it was worthwhile doing because they'll now get back. To, no, back to three. They will get knocked back all the way over here. Well, we've got some fighting over here now. Uh, so well, we're on seven. Let's just see if the French can continue. Uh, if they're all low, they can't. Uh, seven, they can't actually. So all I can do over here now is just some firing. They can't actually maneuver anybody. Uh, so the first ones are these guys, four. Uh, they're just firing at the horses in front of them. So that four becomes uh, uh, so four becomes five because they've got an attached gun. But they are firing a volley, uh, but they will be re-rolling successes. And they haven't got a single success anyway, so it doesn't matter. Then we've got over here, these guys over here with four. These are firing at skirmish, and they're just going to fire at the chaps in front of them. So they need sixes to hit with a five, potentially one five. So that is one hit at least. Uh, and I think that's it. That's the French turn over. Right, it's the Allied turn and they are concentrating their fire over here on this flank. So first of all, we're going to push the Hanoverian cavalry into the French there to try and do some damage. They are unprepared. We're also going to push both of these units into that French unit to hopefully destroy that as well. I'm just going to destroy a, a few numbers, a few of these. So both of those are going in there. Then we've also got, I'm going to do some firing here over at those and is there anything else that we want to do at this point so that's used up three points so far for the, the British in this one so you keep saying British but it's not they are uh, they're, they're, they're the allies right so first of all firing these chaps over here these are over strength I think they're a skirmish yeah no they're not actually no yes they're a skirmish so we're half in that so three Rerolling successes because they're actually in, in the woods. So, uh, one, one, one. <laughs> Not a single hit. Right, we've got a cavalry attack against unprepared uh, French. So, we've got, they're basically rolling a four. The French are also rolling a four, but the French are then re rolling successes. So, could do some damage. Why not? So, we've got one, two successes for the Allies, one success for the French. They're going to re roll that. No, so that is two hits on them, so, and knocks them back. And one hit on these guys, uh, so they are actually getting ground out. But they've now hollowed out that French centre, so they get knocked back, and they are turned around. The unit is impetuous, the uh, the cavalry, so they are going to follow up, but not touch. Just get to there. So they're following them up, chasing them off, off the field. Then next up, we've got these ones over here. These are now attacking. So the French are holding with four dice. And are they over strength or anything? No, they're not. Meanwhile, we're attacking with uh, a four and a four. So that's eight in total. So let's just see. So we've got eight against four. But no re-rolls on these successes here. So the Dutch have got one, two, Three successes against the French, four successes. So that's going to push both of those units back and give them both two Elan hits as well. So that's not good. The French have held, but they have also taken one Elan hit. But each of these Dutch ones have now knocked back down to two. So they are back up here. And these guys are back up here. Uh, so that's knocked them back. <laughs> and then finally, I'm just going to fire uh, with the uh, the guards over there, they're firing three dice and re-rolling successes because they're, sorry, four dice, uh, re-rolling successes because they're firing a cavalry. Uh, one hit because they are got skirmishers 
Reroll that, five or a six. Yes, it is one hit on those cavalry, finally. So, so far the British view three, so I want to get the Brunswick's doing something now. And, or should I? Should I, should I? Uh, should I try something else? No, let's try the Brunswick's. So, uh, triple one and nothing happens. So, no, we've got it, so they're okay. Right, first attack they're going to do then is they are going to turn here, pile into those French there. Unfortunately, they can't get their infantry in just yet because they are in woods, so they're moving through woods. But they've at least got one attack here, and the French are actually in rough ground as well. So they're attacking with, uh, they're defending with five dice. Meanwhile, the attack comes in with uh, five dice minus one because they're under strength. But the French are re-rolling successes because they're not only hitting the flank, but they're also being hit by cavalry, and they're unprepared. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four hits by the Brunswick's, should be a black dice really, and then three defences by the French, we're rolling those again, uh, so this time we've already saved one, so that's three hits on there, three, the Brunswick's have taken another hit, and the French are then shoved back to about there, I'm not following up with them, they're not impetuous so they don't have to, now that gives me six in total for the Allies now, so we've got to roll those three dice, see if they can continue doing other things, 666, so they can crack on with their next core. Right, so we've got quite a bit going on here actually. So I'm gonna pile these first of all into the flank of the French, uh, they're just the cavalry. Can we charge in with those? Yeah, let's get that in as well. Then KGL are gonna charge into those guys there as well to try and again smash and destroy as much as possible over there. I'm gonna withdraw these. So, so well, doesn't matter, this is the last core anyway, so there's not, not much else I can do after this. We're just going to move these forward to plug that gap. And can't do much with the light cavalry over here, and I, I don't want them to move out. So they're going to do a difficult move, which is basically turn around and get into there. And then I can sort them out in a bit. I'll do some firing in a second with the other units. First of all, we've got the attack here going in against the French. Uh, so we've got... Uh, the uh, heavy cavalry is starting with three, but the infantry are starting with five. The French are defending on four, so they've got to split this again because I've got infantry and cavalry, so I'm going to two on two basically. So we'll roll these both separate because the attack from the cavalry means the red French will be rolling. So we'll do this first. So that's two successes from the cavalry. One success on the French, but they've got to re-roll that. So let's have a look. So four, they have saved it. This time it's on the infantry versus the infantry. So we've got one, two, three successes from the Dutch, but also three, two saves from the French. So that's caused two damage on those French, uh, and then also one damage on each of those others, but it's knocked the French back as well. So they've bounced off. One, two, one and two so they have bounced off and they are facing away let's turn those around and then finally we've got the KGL over there so they're attacking with four dice and the French are defending with two dice so this is pretty straightforward so look so we've got two hits and zero saves so that has destroyed another French unit they're down to three now Final thing for the Allies this turn, they are firing into those guys who are coming through. They've got to reroll successes. Uh, need six and a five, so there's one five, so that is one hit. It needs to be rerolled because they are in cover. Two, no effect. Okay, so it's the French over here now, it's their turn. Uh, they are going to do some charging into action. So the first ones here are going to charge into the flank of the KGL and try and hopefully finish them off. Can't do anything with those guys there, but they can. They can actually charge a couple of these. So they're going to charge those into here and just turn that slightly and charge into the cavalry. It's not going to be, well, we'll see. It might be okay. So that's one, two, three so far. They're going to withdraw these, well, not withdraw them, but just get them out of the way up to there. I think that's going to be it for now. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all they can pretty much do. 
so we're just going to try to again smash up some of these units really as, as much as possible. Right, so first of all the attack on the KGL. So the French are starting with six and that's all they're getting but the KGL are on three. They are steady so they get another one but they're re-rolling their saves. They are steady, yeah they're definitely steady. They're re-rolling their saves because they are currently uh, hitting the flank. So we've got the French of course, one, two, three, four hits and the KGL have actually saved three of those. So they've got to re-roll those three. So let's see, now they've only saved two. So they've taken two hits which hasn't destroyed them uh, but it has pushed them back quite a bit and they are then facing away from the French there. It's about as far as, well actually they're going to bounce all the way back behind that building. So the French have at least cleared them away and also given them a very bloody nose there. Now we've got the attack against the cavalry here so we've got six and six from the French but they are re-rolling their, uh, their successes because they're attacking cavalry uh, but the cavalry only have two so this is the Dutch heavy cavalry. So the Dutch heavy cavalry have failed both of theirs. French have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits and we roll those. Uh, this time it's one, two, three, uh, five hits. So that has wiped out the Dutch cavalry. So that is a, another hit on the Allies. Then the final thing for the French Third Corps is they are piling their cavalry into the Brunswick cavalry. They're hitting them on a five against the Brunswick's four, uh, and the Brunswick's under strength, so it's actually three. So, reasonable potential chance here uh, for the French. And so we've got no saves, but two hits. So you knocked the Brunswick's back by two, and also heavily damaged them as well. So, let's just get them back. They are in the here somewhere. Now, before I go on to the next French, turn let's just try uh, four is their current mo no they're fine they can crack on with the next core this french attack hasn't gone particularly well has it well let's see they can at least attack out of the woods into these guys here it's going to be a, that's a penalty of minus one because they're coming out of cover so we're going to do that that's one then these ones are going to just pile into the uh the first brigade in front of them there they can and then we'll move these up behind them. So that's three so far. Not entirely sure what else to do over that other end because those, those units are actually pretty shattered at this point. Um, so yeah, this is the only attacking they're doing here. They say the impotence sort of pretty much has gone out of this, this fight. So the French are attacking with five because of that cover or the hard ground that they're in against uh, five, six for the, uh, the Netherlands division. So let's see what happens here. And as always, fives and sixes. So the French have actually caused four hits. That's against the odds. Where they've saved only three of them. So that is uh, a victory for the French. So good for them. But they obviously take damage for doing it. But they do knock those guys back and knock them back to about there-ish. Now we've got the other attack here, this one hopefully should go the way of the French. This time they're attacking with three and these guys have only got two in defence. So let's have a look. Uh, we've got one hit but two defence. So the French take two hits and they bounce off. They at least bounce off facing the enemy. Meanwhile, they take one hit, so that has reduced them down to one. And the French over there can't do anything else, unfortunately, for them. So the French now are on seven MO, so let's see if they carry on. They don't, six, so they can't do anything else to end their turn. Well, the Allies only need to destroy three more French sect uh, brigades uh, to win this game, really. So we, I'm going to concentrate on this central section, uh, on the central uh, core here. So we're starting with these guys, I'm going to pile them into there and also they are going to come in and hit them there as well. So just on that corner. So that's two they've used up so far. Then these our conscripts are going to pile into there, so we're on three now. Is there anything else they can do at this point? I don't think so. It's kind of desperate at this point, but uh, 
it, it's an attack and attack is good enough. Right, so we've got, first of all, we've got four cavalry attacking against the French. They've got six, so they're going to be giving three against the cavalry and then three against those infantry who are on four. Uh, so we're going to have to re-roll their successes against the cavalry, so we do those first. So it looks so the cavalry have caused one, two, three successes. The French have only got one. So we're re-rolling that. Uh, five, so it is, it's still a success. But then we've got four against three from the infantry. Uh, let's see this time, the French have got two successes, but meanwhile the infantry have also got two successes. So that is a difference of two, so the French take two hits each. Let's do these guys, and it also knocks the French back as well. And facing away, actually quite a far away away as well, so these get knocked all the way back to here, because they're bounced all the way back. So that's pretty poor for them. But then we've also got this attack by the uh, Dutch here, so these are attacking with five against the French. Five, oh, they're over strength actually, so it's six against the strength. Uh, the the uh, the French who have five, two, three, four, five, and the French are re-rolling because they've been hit in the flank. So we've got one, two successful attacks, three defences, which are going to have to be checked again. This time they've saved two. So it's one for one, and this time the Dutch are pushed back. I'm surprised at that, I thought that might have been a success. Right, let's test the Allies. Uh, triple one, and it ends their turn. Nope, they haven't, they've got 10, 11, so we're gonna continue. So we've got the Brunswicks. They are then going to pile into this French unit here, and they are going to fire at the French cav there, they're going to turn their cavalry around as well to face that threat. So I'll start with the firing. So we're rolling uh, six dice with the firing at the cavalry and I think, are they in volley range? No, they're not in volley range, they're actually in skirmish range, so six becomes four. They have skirmish skill, uh, but they're re-rolling successes. Uh, two fives, so one of those needs re-rolling. A five, yes, it's a hit on that French cavalry. And then we have them piling into the flank of that French unit there. That French unit is fresh, but they are, uh, they're they going to be re-rolling their successes because of that flank hit. Uh, so we've got, for the Brunswick's, one, two, three, four, five, and four successes for the French. So re-roll those successes. It's going to do quite a lot of damage. So have a look. Uh, no, they've saved three of them. But they have taken two hits. The allies are on six. MO, let's see if it passes. Uh, that is a cock dice, but they've already scored eight off their other two dice, so that uh, that's plenty. That is uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, so they're fine. They can carry on with their other core. So over here, got a bit of argy-bargy going on. They're going to turn these around and then move them out of the line and meanwhile move these in, so that's two they've used up so far. They are then going to charge, I think they're in range, they're going to try and charge that French unit there, those fellas, and that I think is probably about all they're going to do. They're going to do some firing as well right on that very end, so we'll do that first of all. So, six, uh, so it's four dice hitting on sixes with a five against that cavalry. Uh, so six is one hit, but it's a re-roll because they are cavalry, three, no effect. They're just sitting there plugging away, aren't they, really? So we've got this attack here. So this is going to be two against the French one, uh, against the French two, sorry, because the French are under strength. Uh, so let's have a look. We are now on no successes, one success for the French. So that has actually wiped out the uh, Allied unit there. Uh, the French still take a hit. So that's another Allied unit gone. Now I need to see if the Allies have still got some more actions left, because there's a few units they want to move. So that was uh, three they used there. They've already got six, so if they get over nine, they can continue moving individuals. No, six, so they can't do anything else. Right, we're at a pretty interesting point, really, where this battle can go either way, I think. Uh, the, the, the Allies have lost at this point. They've lost. Uh, six. They're down to uh, their break point is at six, whereas the French is at three. So the French lose three more. They have lost the game. If the Allies lose six more, they have lost the game. Now I'm just trying to really work out where these things can, you know, where these 
forces can actually go and do anything uh, which is of any kind of consequence they could probably just charge in there i think so if they came forward however then they're going to be stuck on that unit so they can't do that they can't bring them forward they could charge in here against the built-up area but that is going to be almost suicidal i think so they are probably better off not doing that we do have the french units over here we, we, this is the third corps so we're going to shove these in first of all this is going to be our first attack might be the only attack in fact we're going to spin these around so this is two we've used so far and then uh, they can't do much else so i'm just going to bring these guys forward in front of them so that's cost three so far just make a quick note of that and I mean this attack has, has absolutely got completely banjacks really uh, so that would be one two three and then we're going to activate this one here this call will then turn around so this brigade will then turn around let's say we've got these guys over here this will be a, a simple move so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them like that just put them up there uh, that is that's from two corps, so they're literally in the way at this point. And then I've also got these guys over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these... No, they're too far away actually, they can't be activated by core, they're too far. So all that's literally all I can do I think, so basically just moving a few people forward. So, but we've got an attack here on the... Uh, the, the, uh, the of those poor unfortunate Brunswicks who are not yet prepared. So they're going to be re-rolling their successes. There's a good chance they could get stomped here, but let's have a look. Let's roll for those. Uh, well, we've only got one French uh, hit, but we've got three saves for the, well, the Brunswicks, which are being re-rolled. They've saved two, so that means they take one hit. Meanwhile, these guys take three, and then they bounce off two base width back so that's not really been the best thing they could do so that so far is three uh, activations so let's just see what that gets them uh, they can continue on okay the core over here is kind of actually broken up quite a lot so I'm probably gonna have to do a couple of uh, individual moves which are going to be very expensive actually but I need to do them. So I'm going to bring these guys forward. These are going to move through the woods. So that's going to cost another two. So that's put us up to five so far. So let's see what we've got on there. That is uh, ten, so they're okay. So I'll just make a note. Because it's costing five points for, per unit at this point. These could... I'm going to move, move them forward so at least out of the, the, uh, the, 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 the danger zone. So that takes us up to seven. So they're okay, they can continue going. Uh, a few more units over here, for example. They're just going to fire. I'll do that in a second. And then we've got these ones over here. They can't do a great deal, but they can move forward and at least take some heat off that. Now I'm going to turn those uh, the cavalry around because they are just getting battered. So that takes us up to nine. Uh, so they are going to do basically turn around and go into those woods get away from that fire because it is taking a hit on them so now we're on nine so that is seven in total so that ends the French turn uh, I did say we we're going to do some firing so I'm just going to do that quickly that's just them firing there they're firing at skirmish there two becomes one dice uh, there's no other changes they're either six or five six it is a hit so at least they've caused one elan on those fun fellas all right, <clears throat> we've got anything could happen at this point, I think, in this game. Uh, so we're back to the British, and it's their first goal. They are going to push into here with the Brunswicks, and this is using the Brunswick score, and into here with the Brunswicks here. They're going to hold their cavalry back because they're pretty badly battered. So we've got two with five, uh, so that's going to be ten in total for the Brunswicks, but the French defending have got three. However, one of the Brunswicks is coming in on the flank there so we're gonna to have to separate these two dice out and they're gonna get have to re-roll one of their dice so the French are gonna put a two defense one defense sorry against the uh, the attack on the flank so let's just see the Brunswick's there have caused three hits the French have saved one but they're gonna re-roll it because it's that flank attack five they managed to save it 
Now, meanwhile, on the other side, we've got the Brunswick's attacking from the front, and these guys are going to hit on five fours up. So we've got one, two, three, four hits. Uh, sorry, th uh, six hits in total. Three hits there, and then the, uh, the French have saved another two. So that's three hits on the French. They only have three Elan left. So that's another French unit destroyed by the Brunswick's, but they both take uh, a hit each as well. Well, so far the Allies have only used two points up of their momentum, so they can carry on going. So what we're going to do is they're going to charge into there with them, and then into there with them. So the cavalry against that unit there. Then they are also going to charge their first Dutch unit into here as well. Uh, so they're going to be re-rolling their uh, their uh, their successors because that's obviously a flank attack as well so there's uh, quite a lot of fighting going on here right I'm going to start with this flank attack here so they are they've got a four they're over strength so that takes them up to five and the French have got a four in defense and that's all there is so let's just see what happens French are re-rolling any successes they've got two successes we've got to re-roll those Meanwhile, the Dutch have hit one, two, three. So, well, it's not going to wipe them out. It might be close, but they've only uh, they've saved one this time. So those French have hit bang two, whilst the Dutch take one off. That pushes the French back. They are going to fall back over here, somewhere over there, because that is their rear area. So that's pushed them out completely. Uh, good for the uh, the Dutch Belgians there. Then we've got this big attack here. So we've got three cavalry. Uh, this is going to go against the French. They have only got one dice actually. <clears throat> so they're going to put that one dice in their defence against the uh, three attacking units as well. So they're unprepared. So I'm just going to roll everything together. The French won't get a re-roll on this. But they've just got one dice, so we're one there. So we've got one, two, three hits. That is enough to destroy another French unit. So that's taken out another one there. They're not going to advance. So now they only need to destroy one more French unit, and the Allies have won this game. So the Allies have currently used up five momentum. Let's see what they get. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, so they can continue on. So they're going to continue on with uh, their second core. Okay, so second core have activated these two units, which is the second guards. They've piled into the French there, and then we've also got the Dutch uh, Indonesian Brigade, and they piled into the French here. They are looking here to hopefully finish this game off. So we're going to start with the Dutch. They're over strength, they've got four, so that takes them up to five. They are hitting a understrength unit with only two Elan, so that is actually just one. So they just need to cause two hits on them to finish this game. Let's have a look, we've got one, two, three hits. They've saved one. That is enough to destroy that French unit, the final one. So that has destroyed their army morale and basically <coughs> ended the game. However, let's just see what happens with the guards on the side because they've done bugger all apart from a bit of shooting. So this time, same again, the French have only got one. Uh, the guards have got uh, six, and that's it. So six against one. Let's see if these, uh, they need to hit them twice to do some damage. They've got two hits, and the French have got no saves. It's a two, so that is another unit destroyed. I'll take that off as well. Okay, just before I show you the table, this is the casualties over here. So we've got uh, three over here from the British Second Corps and five uh, casualties. These were also people who withdrew as well, remember, they weren't all destroyed. But then over here are the French casualties. So let's just see the British, uh, the Anglo Allied in total have got eight, whereas the French from their various corps. So first corps obviously just took a massive battering there and they've taken two, four, six, seven, uh, kill, uh, taken off seven uh, bases. Uh, meanwhile, second corps took off four and then third corps took off one as well. So let's just have a look at the table and see what the situation was at the end of the game. 
So this is the Allied left flank here. The Brunswicks came in at the last minute and uh, really, you know, did a bit of damage. They've only got a small core, but three men, uh, three uh, three brigades was enough to uh, really stall that French third core attack as it came in. It got really badly broken up. You can see here uh, as it came in, men were getting pushed about left, right, and centre, and it was really the whole holding of this centre line, uh, even though. British First Corps, Anglo Allied First Corps is completely battered at this point. And if it had gone on for about another turn or two, I think a lot of these units would have been off the table as well as destroyed. They're all down to three Elan. So they're completely battered. There's a, I think I can only see, yeah, there's only one French unit that is uh, completely fresh, and that's these guys here. They could have potentially done some damage to these Dutch, uh, Dutch Belgians here, but never mind. Anyway, over here in the centre right, uh, we actually the the second guards did very little, but they completely held off those two brigades as they were trying to attack through those woods there. And meanwhile, the line over here, the Allied line, definitely held. Uh, they were only attacked in the built-up area once, I think, if I remember correctly. But that just did so much damage to the French that they were, you know, in bits anyway. And again, this attack really broke up very quickly. That's the great thing about Blue Kit. If you keep attacking, you will suddenly run out of Elan, and you really need that fresh reserve to come in as quick as possible. Could the French have done this? Uh, potentially. Uh, they won the Waterloo refight that I did, which had two uh, areas to be held. So potentially they could have won, uh, but I just think the uh, in this this case the the Allied line just held long enough for it not to be an issue really, and that's really what you need to be doing is just holding that line. So there you go, a great game of Blucha. Now I know I will have made mistakes, and I and I said at the start I'm going to change up the uh, activations within the round, and I think it works a lot better actually. It just makes the game a bit more interesting than uh, going through the the basic uh, movement fire melee phase that a lot of games do uh, so I think this is just a, a way of, of mixing that up and just making things different let me know what you think in the comments anyway uh, a great game of Blucher well well worth looking into if you're into big battle brigade level gaming uh, I don't know how many figures are on this table there's several thousand I would have thought uh, but uh, I'll leave that for you to count up I hope you've enjoyed it if you have let me know in the comments, uh, let me uh, hit that like button as always, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel as ever, and I will see you in the next Storm of Steel video.